return to the Premier League, of course, after they secure promotion this past midweek. But who's going to join them this coming weekend? We're going to take a look at it. All of it next. number 44 over in the championship and we'll get to that in just one second if you know where you've been smash your subscribe and keep banging to the all things championship related clap and rovers related world football related we've got all here boys under one rooski of course rovers still technically have a hope of making it into the players but of course we got a, a monster game this week of course which will probably end our hopes and our campaign on a bit of a damp squib we'll take a look at it, all of it in a minute of course big, big shout out to my vips they're the patrons guys thank you for your love and of course you know who you are but anyway let's jump in the deep end of course to take a look back uh, of course what happened this past Easter Monday. So these were the games, of course, uh, Rovers against Stoke. <sighs> uh, you know what? I, I, I keep each each one of these. I come back and I say, you know, if you want to, if you want to see the greatest bottle job in history, uh, you've got to review this season from January. Absolute train wreck from Rovers. Um, you know what? And, and it's just we got three games left. You know, I can't. See, I cannot see anything. I cannot see anything. I cannot see any light at the end of the tunnel. I really can't. It looks grim, grim times. And we, you know, we, you know, people say that Mowbray has made us not a laughing stock anymore. But this would be a bit of a, uh, this would actually be a, a return to form here. Make us once again a laughing stock uh, from, from second all the way out of the playoffs to eighth right now. And of course, I could see us crashing all the way down to 10th, 12th, goodness gracious me. But anyway, uh, Blackpool, of course, 6-1 demolition. That's what it's all about against Birmingham. Uh, Bristol City with a draw against uh, Sheffield United. I saw that one coming. Uh, meanwhile, of course, Cardiff with a loss against Luton Town. Big result for them. Luton up to fourth. They can actually bloody do this. Meanwhile, Coventry with a 3-0 loss to Bournemouth. Of course, Barnsley with a loss against the Peter as well. Fulham, of course, 3-0 winners over Preston to secure the deal. Of course, that was on Tuesday. Borough did lose to Huddersfield. 2-0 loss there. Millwall with a 2-1 win over Hull City. Reading, picking up a 4-4 Bobby Dazzle against Swansea. Forest, of course, 4-0 win over West Brom. And Cube we are with one win of a derby to uh, also keep them still alive, believe it or not, in the race for the playoffs. That's right. Of course, this is the state of play right here, right now. Of course, as you can see, Fulham, of course, are over the line. Of course, they are nine points clear over Bournemouth. Uh, four point, uh, Bournemouth are just four points clear over Huddersfield, but they do have two games in hand on them, of course. As for Forest, they also got a couple of games in hand and win uh, but, uh, both of those. They'll be on to 73, 76 points as well. But again, uh, it's, it's just a matter of time, I think, before Bournemouth go up. So it looks like it's going to be Fulham. It looks like it's going to be Bournemouth. Uh, but we'll see about that. Of course, Barnsley are not down yet. They have a game in hand, but Derby are already down. That's confirmed. It's on the dotted line. And I do anticipate Barnsley and Piro will join them. So, unfortunately, the relegation uh, squabble will not uh, be much to get excited about. Let's take a look at our own little league leaderboard then, shall we? Of course, this is, of course, uh, Prediction League. Damien Heaven with nine points there. Well done to you, sir. Kicking ass and taking names. As about the mini leaderboard then, this is, of course, from January onwards. Who's been shit hot? It's actually been Shane O'Donnell. Seven, 117 points there. 37, of course, also up in the in the second with Hans Worst not too far away either what about of course uh, the next round of matches they're coming at you right here right now this is the link get involved it is free get, of course, get your name in lights and you could become a prediction king uh, for this next but we're going to do an extended match day of course these are the games for this weekend including Rovers match against Preston on Monday and then we have a whole uh, two or three games there uh, for uh, Tuesday Wednesday next week as well so we've got a busy week next week I'm trying to squeeze these in together now and then we'll come back of course for the next round of matches as well so let's jump in the deep end kick it all off with Bournemouth uh, they're going to be taking on Fulham and a zinger zinger took chicken dinner at the top of the table. Now, these two sides have played each other six times to 2010. Three wins to Bournemouth, one with a follow, and two draws. Of course, just one defeat though in the past six games for Bournemouth right now. 60% form for them. Up against the Fulham side, 1 3 and lost 3 of the last six. 50% form heading into this. Last time around, of course, over at Bournemouth, it was a 1 0 win for Fulham. That was, of course, in the Premier League back in April 2019. The reverse fixture at Craven Cottage was a 1 1 draw back in December. Fulham up against a 3 0 win over Preston, of course. Bournemouth with a 3 0 win over Coventry. And Amman conceded the goal in one, two, three games. Goodness gracious me. So uh, it could be a bit of a bit of a, uh, a chance for Bournemouth to seal the deal here with a big win over the the, the champions elect I'd say uh, Fulham 5-4 on is your or 5-4 is your Bournemouth 5-2 to two is draw and 2-1 to one is your Fulham here tight tight Ed. I'm going to go with a 2-1 win for Fulham here which of course keep that uh, race for the automatics alive for the likes of Huddersfield and maybe even uh, Nottingham Forest as well Birmingham up against Millwall of course over at St Andrews again taking place on uh, the 23rd of April and I've played each other 27 times in 1993 11 wins for Birmingham 8 wins for Millwall and 8 draws of course just one win in the last 6 there for Birmingham around 44% 
form for them up against the Millwall side. Of course, 50% form for them. Uh, unbeaten now in the last three. Pick up two wins, two draws, and two defeats over the last six. Uh, last round over at uh, Birmingham was a 0 0 draw back in November 2020. The reverse fixture, of course, a 3 1 win for Millwall back in December 2021. Millwall coming into this, into this on the back of the 2 1 win over Hull. Of course, uh, Blackpool with that 6 1 win over Birmingham last round. Of course, a bit of a uh, actually conceded what they conceded 10, 12 goals in the last uh, three games. Uh, so that's averaging four goals a game. Pretty terrible stuff for Birmingham, of course. The odds here 21 to 10 is your Birmingham, 12 to 5 is your draw, and 30 to 10 is your Millwall. Millwall need to win this to keep their dream alive. I'm actually going with a surprise again. One nil win for Birmingham uh, to uh, to end the season at St Andrews, perhaps, uh, with a win, and maybe, of course, uh, prolong uh, uh, Lee, Lee Bowyer's instant uh, dismissal, uh, of course. Derby County up against Bristol City, of course. Derby are down. Bristol City, of course, not had the greatest season, but of course, ending pretty strong. Uh, of course, place of the eight times in Titanic 3, 13 wins to Derby, eight wins to Bristol City, and seven draws, of course. Uh, just uh, what we're looking at here 42% form for Derby right now, winning two and losing two of the last four. Uh, up against the Bristol City side, also 42% form, winning one and the last six for them, uh, of course, drawing a lot of games at the moment. Meanwhile, last time at Pride Park, it was a one and win for Derby back in, of course, January 2021. The reverse fixture, of course, at Thrashton Gate was a one and win for Bristol City back in December. Meanwhile, Bristol City with a draw against Sheffield United last time around. Of course, Derby with that loss against. QPR last time around to secure their fate in League One. 21 to 20 is your derby, 5 to 2 is your one, 5 to 2 is your away win. That is, of course, Bristol City on this. Back in, of course, uh, a, a good an end to, uh, to the campaign again. Uh, the, the, the pressure's off now. You, you know your fate. 2 1 win for Derby to raise the game. And, of course, give the, the paying public uh, or the, the paying Derby faithful a, uh, a, a good, strong end to the campaign. Meanwhile, Huddersfield Town up against Barnsley. Of course, Huddersfield are on the cusps of uh, securing their playoff at birth. I'm trying to, there it is, on Friday night, of course, Friday, April the 22nd, and these two sides have played each 31 times in 1995, 11 wins to Huddersfield, 14 wins to Barnsley, and six draws, of course. Huddersfield, though, unbeaten the last four, 58% form, they've clicked into gear just at the right time, up against the Barnsley side, of course, just one win to six for them, 33% form. They're, of course, uh, expected to go down very, very soon. Of course, last time over at, uh, 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 whatever we call it, uh, the Macau Pine, John Smith, Kirk Lees, was a one-day win for Barnsley back in, of course, April 2020, and that was in the league. They also played each other in the reverse campaign over at Oakwell, it was a 1-1 draw back in December 2021. They they also played each other in the FA Cup at the John Smith Kirk Lease uh, Macau Pine Stadium. That was, of course, back in February. And it was a, two, a one new win for Huddersfield in the FA Cup. Meanwhile, Huddersfield with a 2 0 win over Middlesbrough last time on the road. Of course, Barnsley with a 2 0 loss at home, of course, to Peterborough. Their last win was, of course, against, give this me, a 2 0 win over Bristol City way back in the 15th of March. The odds here for, though, this one. A seven to four on is your Huddersfield. 14 to five is your 11 to two is your, is your Barnsley on this one. Bit of a, North, a Yorkshire affair, this one. It might not be as easy as you would expect, but I do anticipate Huddersfield to get over the line. Two to win for them to take it to the house. Hull City up against uh, Reading, of course. Uh, these two sides towards the foot of the table, but of course we'll be back next season, I imagine. 15 times they've played just since 2005. Six wins for Hull, two wins for Reading, and seven draws, of course. Look at Hull right now, winning three and losing three of the last six. 50% form up against that Reading side, just one defeat past six. Of course, Reading are in tip-top form with Paul Ince. Has he done enough to secure the job full-time? Of course, uh, one defeat past six, 6% form for them at the moment. Of course, last time around, they were over at Hull. It was a 2-1 win for Hull back in August 2019. The reverse fixture, of course, a 1-1 draw back in December 2021. Hull coming into this on the back of that 2-1 loss against Millwall. Of course, Reading with that 4-4 Bobby Daz, that 8-goth run against Swansea last time around. The odds, though, for this one, we've got uh, Hull 29-20 for the Richie 9-5 is your Reading, and of course, 23-10 is your draw. Back, of course, a 1-0 win for Hull here at home. Shot out of Lazzy's boys. Uh, keep on keeping on. Next, of course, we have Luton Town up against Blackpool, of course. I, I think these are the two teams of the season here. Luton, of course, done absolutely fantastic. Blackpool, of course, coming uh, up from League One as well. Uh, done fantastic this season. 12, uh, 12 times they played each other since 2003. Seven wins for the Hatters, of course, two for the Tangerines, and three draws, of course. Just one defeat the past six games for Luton, of course, were up against a Blackpool side. Just one win in six for them. Uh, however, just scored six as well, didn't they? 33% form for them heading into this. Last time around, though, over at Kenilworth Road, it was a 2-2 draw back in April 2019. That was in League One. The reverse fixture over at Bloomfield Road, of course, was a 3-0 win for Luton back in December. Of course, Blackpool coming into this on the back of that 6-1 win over Birmingham. Of course, Luton with a 1-0 win over Cardiff. And that's actually back-to-back -back clean sheets for them heading into this as well. The odds, though, for this one, what do we got going on? We have 5-4 on is your Luton, 11-4 is your draw, and 60-5 is your Blackpool here. Going to go with though, a 2-2 draw here. Uh, point split right And of course, I think Luton is still safe. They're all right in, uh, in that top six. I think they'll secure a point on this one. Next, of course, we have Peterborough up against Forest. Of course, Forest are the team to avoid right now. Play each other, of course, 12 times in 1994. Three wins for Peterborough, uh, nine wins for Forest, and zero draws. Just one defeat past six, though, for Peterborough right now. 67 percent up against the uh, London Forest side, of course. One four of the last five. 67 percent over the last six as well. Uh, heading into this, though, last time around over at Peterborough, it was a one win for Forest back in this, uh, October 2012. That was back in the Championship. Meanwhile, the reverse fixture, of course, over at City Ground was a two win for the Forest. 
back in, of course, December 2021. Of course, Peterborough with a two-nil win over Barnsley. That's, of course, back-to-back -back wins, of course, including a win over Rovers. Shit show that was. Up against the Forest side, of course, with a 4 0 win over West Brom last time around as well. The odds here, 70 to 4 is your Peterborough. Of course, the 3 to 1 is your draw, and 13 to 8 on is your Forest. Of course, can Peterborough defy the odds? No, I don't think so. 3 0 win in the end for Forest on this one. Then, we, of course, we have a zinger zinger chicken dinner, of course, over at Deepdale. It's, of course, Preston up against Blackburn Rovers. It is the Northwest Crunch Clash, of course. But, of course, next season, it could be all different with, of course, Burnley maybe getting relegated. Wigan, of course, Blackpool, Preston. It could be a right old Northwest Crunch Clash with, of course, a lot of pride on the line. But anyway, these two sides have played each other 15 times since 2001. Six wins apiece and three draws, of course. Just one defeat, one defeat past four games for Preston right now. 42% form. I guess the Rovers side, of course, uh, winless in the last five games. 33% form heading into this. Last time around, though, over at Deepdale was a 3 0 win for Rovers, of course. Wow, wow, we wow. Didn't see that coming back in November 2020. Of course, the reverse fixture over at Ewood. This campaign was a 1 0 win for Rovers back in the day. So, uh, yeah, two wins the last three. In fact, Rovers uh, just one defeat past four uh, when we take a look at Preston over the recent uh, recent few games. Meanwhile, Preston with a 3 0 loss against Fulham. Rovers with a 1 0 loss against Stoke last time around. Of course, let's take a look at this. 13 8 is your Preston, 31 to 20 is your Rovers, and 12 5 is your draw. I, I've lost it. I've lost all, all faith, all belief in this. Of course, Rovers season has gone uh, tits up big time, and I've gone with a 2 1 win for Preston. And of course, I see I see this just a, a, a painful, a painful demise uh, since January, and hopefully. Uh, been Mowbray out on and off, on and off, on and off, on and off, on and off. But uh, right now, I'm out. I'm I'm all out. It's time. It's time to go. We can't be doing it because because if you if you come back next season, Mowbray, you might have another fantastic start to the season. But again, it will just be the same. It happens. It's been happening season in season out. There is a ma not just a little dip in form. There's a monster dip in, in every season. Last season, monster dip. This season, a, a gigantic dip uh, of form. So we can't be having that. I get a little bit of uh, a form, and maybe if there was pockets of a bad form. It might be better. But, of course, watching 10, 12, 14 weeks of drivel is absolutely painful. So, for me, just get this season done. Forget about it. Get out of town and hopefully uh, you'll get another job wherever it is. And, and, and of course, you'll, you'll leave with your head held high a little bit. And then Rovers will get a good manager that, of course, can revitalise a little bit and give a bit of energy back and get the faith uh, back in the Rovers' faithful. Anyway, that's enough about that. Sheffield United up against Cardiff City. Let's uh, get into that one then, shall we? Of course, over at Bramall Lane. Now, these two sides, of course, play each other. According to my eyes, 18 times, 2003, six minutes apiece and six draws. It's the mark of the beast. That's right. 50% form for Sheffield United right now. 1-2, lost 2 and drawn 2. Just one win in the last five, though. Up against the Cardiff side, just uh, one win in the last four for them. 42% form over the last six. Of course, last time around though of Abraham Lane it was a 1-1 draw back in April 2018 meanwhile the reverse fixture over in Wales was a 3-2 win for Sheffield United back in December of course Cardiff with a 1-0 loss against Luton of course and Sheffield United with a draw against Bristol City last time around the odds though for this one we have a 20-11 on is Sheffield United of course a red hot favourites to win this one 3-1 is your draw 90-4 is your Cardiff on this one back in of course Sheffield United to win this one 2 win for them and of course probably claw into that top six into the final couple of games of the season Stoke City wow wow we were up against of course QPR that's right Stoke of course grinding out some results recently up against QPR, of course, keeping their teeth uh, or keeping just about hanging in there in that race for top six. Of course, with that win against Derby last time around, these two sides, of course, played each other 25 times in 1996. Eight wins for Stoke, nine wins for uh, QPR, and eight draws as well. Stoke winning four of the last six, 16% form for them. Up against QPR side, just one win of six for them, 25% form heading into this. Last time around, though, over at the bet, 3 6 five was a 2 0 win for QPR back in May 2021. The reverse fixture, of course, at Loftus Row was a 2 0 win for Stoke back in December. QPR picking up a 1 win over Derby, uh, of course, unbeaten in back to back games. Up against the Stoke side, of course, with a 1 0 win over Rovers last time of course got basic odds here the basic odds go in favour of Stoke they are the favourites they are the hosts they're anticipated to win from the bookies I'm also going to go with them unfortunately QBR that'll be game over for you and probably game over for Warburton uh, as well uh, I, I do anticipate I will talk about the, the managerial merry-go-round in a second, of course. Uh, Swansea up against Middlesbrough. Let's take a look at this one then, shall we? Now, over in Wheels. Now, these two sides have played each other 14 times in 2009. Seven wins for Swansea, four for Middlesbrough, and three draws. Of course, Swansea, though, coming to this unbeaten in the last six games, picking up three wins and three draws. 75% form for them. Up against Middlesbrough side, of course, just uh, one win in six. 25% form for Chris Wilder's boys, who are under the cosh right now. Last time around over in Swansea, it was a 2 1 win for Swansea back in March 2021. The reverse fixture, of course, was a 1 0 win for Middlesbrough at the Riverside back in December. Swansea, they're picking up a 4 4 draw against Reading. Of course, Middlesbrough with a 2 0 loss against Huddersfield Town. The odds, though, for this one, we got Swansea. 21 to 10 for the victory, 6 to 5 is Jabara, 25 is your draw, of course. And back in, of course, a Middlesbrough loss here, 2 1 win for Swansea, taking the three points and keeping the dream alive. Next up, of course, we have West Brom up against Coventry over at the Hawthorns. Now, these two sides have played each other 12 times since 2001. 9 wins for West Brom, 2 for Coventry, and 1 draw, of course. 2 wins of the last 6 there for West Brom right now, 42% form up against the Coventry side, 1 2, lost 2, and drawn 2 over the last 6. That's 50% form heading into this. Last time around, though, over at the Hawthorns, it was a 1 0 win for West Brom. That was back in March 2010 in the Championship. Meanwhile, the reverse fixture over at Coventry at the Rico was a 2 1 for West Brom back in 
December. Meanwhile, Coventry with a 3-0 loss against Bournemouth. Of course, West Brom with a 4-0 loss against Nottingham Forest last time around. The odds coming at you for this game. We have 21-20 is your West Brom, 25 is your 5-2 is your away win. That's Coventry City back. And of course, the bag is here with a 2 0 for them to take the three points and keep the dream alive for whatever dream that is. Next up, of course, we have Barnsley. Of course, these are the midweek games. Of course, it's Barnsley up against... Uh, Blackpool, of course, by this time, I do believe Barnsley will be relegated over at, uh, and this match will take place over at Oakwell. Now, now, they're scheduled to take place, of course, corner minus 26th of April at Oakwell. 31 times they play just to turn through. 15 wins for Barnsley, 9 wins for Blackpool, and 7 draws, of course. Just 1 win and 6, of course, for Barnsley, of course, heading into this. Also, Blackpool, just 1 win and 6, 33% for them, them heading into this match at Oakwell. Of course, at the rever the last time around, at Oakwell was a 2 win for Barnsley back in April 2019. That was in League One. The reverse fixture, of course, was a 1 win for Blackpool at Blueford Road back in September. Got no odds here. My odds are in my jeans and my 501s. Of course, going to go with a uh, draw here. One one in the end. Point split right down the middle. And again, uh, Barnsley will uh, already be down at that point. Uh, next, of course, we have Swansea up against Bournemouth. That's right. Wow, wow, wee, wow. Of course, Bournemouth playing the fancy fans football. Of course, uh, Bournemouth on the cusps of getting promoted back to the Premier League. Now, these two sides played each other 18 times. 2003, four wins for Swansea, nine wins for Bournemouth, and five draws. Of course, Swansea, though, of course, unbeaten in the last six. Up against the Bournemouth side, just one defeat past six. Of course, we do anticipate Bournemouth to lose against Fulham. Swansea, too, of course, beat Middlesbrough as well. The last time they played each other over in Wales, it was a 0 0 draw back in December 2020. The reverse fixture, of course, a 4 0 win for Bournemouth back in November 2021. In fact, the home side uh, hasn't lost this game over the last six occasions. In fact, the away side hasn't even scored a goal in the last six occasions between these two sides. Uh, so, uh, for Swansea, haven't even beaten uh, uh, Bournemouth in the last uh, six matches. There's actually been four wins for uh, for Bournemouth and two draws over the last six. Of course, no odds on this one. Tight, tight, airtight. But Swansea are playing some really good football. And I think they're going to have the better of, of Bournemouth. So, make it lively, lively, very, very lively towards the back of the campaign 2 0 win for Swansea, of course, playing the good football back to back wins for them. And again, they, they, they think they may, might even have a mathematical chance to make top six, but I think it's going to be out of their hands. I think uh, they won't get there. They might win all the remaining games or play really well and stuff like that, but I think. The, the, the teams above them will just put them, uh, force them to remain in the championship once again. Next, of course, we have Fulham up against Forest. That's right, of course, Fulham already promoted uh, up against the Forest side, of course, looking uh, to, uh, to join the party. Uh, of course, this will take place over at Craven Cottage. Now, these two sides, of course, played each other 16 times in 1999. Nine was for Fulham, four was for Forest, and three draws, of course. One, three, lost three of the last six. That's Fulham, of course, up against Forest side, just one defeat past five of them. 67% form heading into this. Last time around, though, over at the Craven Cottage, was a 2 1 win for Forest. That was back in August 2019. Reverse fixture, of course, a 4 0 win for Forest. Uh, sorry, 4 0 win for Fulham. Back in, of course, not in Forest. Back in, of course, October 2021. That's when Forest were shit. Red hot shit. Uh, again, got no odds on this one. But, of course, I do anticipate a tight game. Five goal thriller. Going in favour of Fulham here. Three, two in for them. Back to back, of course, wins. Uh, of course, definitely hopes for Forest in the grand scheme of things. And wrap it up. Wrap it up. Of course, Chris Wilder's boys uh, playing their final game at home, is it? It might be. It might not be. I don't know. Up against, of course, Cardiff City. That's right. Uh, now, these two sides, that pleasure. The corner of my eyes around about, uh, come on then, boys. Clode. Uh, 20 times in 2008. Eight wins for Middlesbrough. 10 wins for Cardiff. Two draws, of course. This is the Neil Warn Warnock Derby, of course. Just one minute six there for Middlesbrough right now. 25% form. I guess Carl Side just one minute four for them. 42% form heading into this. Last time around, though, over at the Riverside, it was a 1 1 draw back in uh, February 2021. 20, the reverse fixture, of course, over in Wales was a 2 win for Middlesbrough back in October. Got no odds on this one. Of course, Middlesbrough uh, losing to Swansea. Of course, Cardiff uh, picking up a. What did they get? Uh, they lost to Sheffield United, of course, on the side. Do anticipate Middlesbrough to bounce back here. Uh, 2 1 win for them. Ending, of course, the, 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 the stretch of games here with a win. And, of course, I don't know. Will they still be in, in contention with Top six, we'll have to wait and see. But that is it. Be sure to get your own picks in as well. Cut your slash championship is free to enter. Get your name in lights. But please make sure you smash your thumbs up. It does wonders for the algorithm. And of course, it does uh, give uh, a big boost to the channel by just hitting that thumbs up. I know it, it doesn't take much. You're, you're watching it right now. If you don't like my face, if you don't like my voice, just hit that thumbs up anyway. Uh, and, and I'll try. I, and things are going to change next season. We're going to be taking a drastic look at the channel over the summer. Uh, things are going to be uh, uh, changing. Uh, the, the content's changing. Uh, a lot of stuff. So the, 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 the way I talk, I'm going to try and slow down a bit. I've just got too much going on right now. And hopefully next season we'll, we'll, re we'll rectify that. So, But uh, a lot of content to be coming though still. So don't go anywhere. Smash the subscribe. Smash the thumbs up. Check out the link down below. Until then, boys, we're done.